All right, guys, today is an episode of Club Review. And today I wanted to have a look at Leeds United, who we're having a bit of a disappointing season, I think it's fair to say. But anyway, let's get into it. So their early season form was awful. Um, in the first six games, I think they failed to win any. And yeah, so that, that that's poor. And I, I think they might even have had quite a few of their best players in the side at that point. Uh, so, so that was, yeah, it was a poor start to the season. But then um, once players got injured, it was going to look very hard for Leeds to um, even achieve what they did last season with finish 10th. But um, that yeah, th this season it, it's just gone really badly with injuries and lack of squad depth. But form recently has improved with a couple of wins against Burnley and uh, away at West Ham as well, which was a really good victory. Um, Jack Harrison hat trick, obviously, and I mean they are they are out of both the Cups as well. Uh, they lost to Arsenal in the League Cup and also West Ham in the FA Cup a few weeks ago as well. Um, so, it's, it's in terms of what Leeds fans' expectations were at the start of the season, the form isn't great. I think that's fair to say, to be honest. Um, but I think they should comfortably avoid the drop the way they're going. Okay, so Leeds' is best starting eleven for me, I, I've got it written out in front of me, is Ilan Melier in goal. Um, he, he's very young, but uh, he's, he's played every single game for Leeds in all competitions this season. He does make the occasional mistake, but for a young goalkeeper, he is fairly consistent. I think it's good, uh, all right. I think that's right to say. Um, he is a little bit like uh, Kepa in that he's not not got the biggest build, and sometimes he, he like shots that you really would expect him to save somehow go through his hands. Defence have gone with Luke Ayling, Liam Cooper, uh, Diego Lorente, and Stuart Dallas. I, I think they're the f just the four best defenders for Leeds in general. God knows how many games they've missed between them. I think Dallas has played in most games this season. Ailing's missed a few. Cooper's missed a few. And I think Lorente's missed more than half of the season. So that, that goes to explain uh, why some of uh, Leeds' form has dropped off quite a bit. And then obviously Calvin Phillips has got to be in the best 11. I mean, he probably is their best player. Uh, in, in that sitting uh, midfield role in the 4-1-4-1 that Bielsa tends to play. And then the four in front of that, Rafinha on the right. What can I say? I mean, he's, he's just brilliant talent. And with all due respect to Leeds, I, I think, you know, some Leeds fans will be expecting him to move on to... I feel bad saying a bigger club because Leeds are a big club, but... Um, a more successful club in the moment uh, right now because obviously Leeds' recent success isn't as big as their previous history. Um, and then alongside him, uh, Mateus Klick and uh, Rodrigo. Uh, I, I sort of picked Rodrigo because I, I thought um, with the defensive mindedness of uh, Calvin Phillips and Mateus Klick, he, he's sort of allowed to be the number 10 in that system. Uh, and also on the left, Jack Harrison, who hasn't had the greatest season either this year. But, uh, I mean, he, he did really well against West Ham to score a hat-trick. And I, th I think he scored 75% of his league goals in that game, which, I mean, <laughs> isn't great. Um, he, he, isn't as ha he isn't having as good a season as last year. But, you know, he is missing quite a lot of the players that he had around him last year and the year before. Um, so this season and also Patrick Bamford up front who has again has been hugely missed this season so straight away in that 11 you can see that so many players have been missing this season uh, due to injury. Marcelo Bielsa is doing a great job at Leeds if, if we go look at from uh, when he started at Leeds to 
now he, he's done incredible to uh, guide them out of the championship and back into the Premier League for the first time in 16 years, I believe it was, 2004 to 2020. Uh, so he's done a great job. But my only criticism that I can think of from Marcelo Bielsa, which I mean, it's partly down to his personality because it's just the way he is. But I feel as though he can be a bit stubborn at times and um, like a bit hesitant to uh, change the way his team works in certain situations. So like against Man City um, in the 7-0, he went with his usual formation and didn't have all his best players because you got to remember, last season, I think, against Man City, they took four points off them. I think they drew 1-1 at Ellen Road. And I remember them. Uh, I remember Stuart Dallas scoring a last-minute winner at the Etihad. So when he's got his best players, they can get a result from City, and that's been proved. But uh, against City this season, when you haven't got your best players, you need to like be a bit more defensively minded in, in the way you're playing. Uh, so he, he is a bit hesitant to change his tactics. But to be fair to him, I'm saying that. But it, it's worked for him at Leeds. It's got them to uh, a safe place in the Premier League. Like Leeds this season are 15th in the table at the moment. And they, it'd be incredible. I think if they got uh, relegated this season, something would have to be uh, disastrously wrong for that to happen. But yeah, Bielsa's doing a great job. That's that's the main thing. When it comes to incoming players, I think, um, well, I've picked three players, uh, and I've picked it based on positions where they could where the, they could do with a bit more depth as well as improving. So at right back, I, I've picked a right back because um, Luke, Luke Ayling is a good player, but he could definitely be improved, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm being harsh in saying that. It's not that he's a bad player. I, I just think um, he's not a standout player for Leeds. And also the fact that Luke Ayling is literally the only right back Leeds have got. So, um, he, he, And he's been injured this season, so they need someone to cover him at right back at least. And this might be a bit ambitious, but um, I've gone with Cesar Azpilicueta because his contract's out in the summer at uh, Chelsea and, um, you know, he's free free transfer then. I don't think Leeds can sign him in January because I don't think English teams can sign players on uh, pre-contractual agreements if it's from an unfair English club. Um, but I, I, I think, you know, that that could happen you never know um he's, he's a very good passer he's a strong tackler and also we know he's very versatile which would suit Marce marcelo bielsa's team in that he can play right back and center back uh, which you know is something that bielsa always looks for in players because i mean take stuart dallas for example he probably play in goal if you asked him to and then i've gone with the central mid it's De defensive midfielder in uh, Bruno Guimaraes. I don't know how you say his name uh, correctly exactly, but um, he's been linked with Newcastle recently. Again, this might be a bit of an ambitious one, but he's um, a, a deep line playmaker. He, he gets quite a few assists throughout the season. He's He can shoot from distance and also he's a good tackler of the ball so it, it, very similar traits to uh, Calvin Phillips and um, so I, I think that one it, it it would be a good transfer and you could potentially play both Calvin Phillips and Bruno um, Guimaraes in, in midfield um, but also I think just in case Calvin Phillips does end up leaving Ellen Rhodes in the summer I think that is a potential replacement as well and then the third player I've picked in central midfield as one of the two in front of Phillips is Tangai and Dombele because it's not going well for him at Tottenham. He's not uh, been a favourite under Antonio Conte here so far. I think that's a bit of an understatement and he definitely needs to leave. Um, so I, I, I think he would actually fit Bielsa's system quite well because he is a very good dribbler at the ball. He despite what you would think about him as a player 
he actually contributes more defensively than I thought he does, you know, according to stats. Like when, when you watch him, he doesn't uh, seem to do that much. But uh, according to stats, he, he does uh, win the ball quite a lot. So, you know, there's that. And uh, you do need to contribute defensively to play under Bielsa's system. And also he's quite a fluid player, which, you know, again, suits Bielsa's team. So I think he would be a good transfer as well. So in summary, Leeds are having a bit of a disappointing season. Um, but I, I think it's definitely down to injuries more than anything. Like you'd have thought, had they not had the injuries, they would have been able to turn the poor early season form around um, because, you know, Le Leeds are one of those teams that are going to go through good spells and bad spells uh, due to how the fixture, fixture list is run. Like, if you take their early season form, well, what was their first game? It was away at Old Trafford. It's not a great start, is it? And remember, this was when Man United were uh, in, in a relatively good place compared to what they are now. So I, I think... I'll give it a 5 out of 10 because it's it's not what Leeds fans would have wanted this season, but there's definitely uh, reasons for it and valid excuses for it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.